Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video we're going to learn how to crochet this nice um, Christmas ornament which is a stocking and I'm using a 100% acrylic yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. So let's see how we're going to create it. I've already started with my chains and I have made 10 chains and I am going to start with a row of single crochet so in this first row I'm going to have a total of 9 single crochet. I'm going to skip the first chain and put my hook in the second one. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, and our last chain, 9, chain 1, and turn your work. In the second row we're going to do 1 single crochet in every stitch again with a total of 9 single crochet. I'm going to start from the first stitch over here, 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and my last stitch, nine. Chain one and turn your work. So you're always going to be chaining one and turning your work for every new row. So chain one, I'm going to do two more rows of nine single crochet and when I finish I'm going to turn my video back on and see how we're going to continue. I've completed the two extra rows so I have four rows of nine single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. So now we're going to create the the top part of the stocking and we're going to leave the front part, the toes, um, uncrocheted. So instead of crocheting nine single crochet, I am going to make six single crochet in this row. Starting from the first stitch, one, two, three, four, five, and six and I'm going to leave the ne the next three stitches I'm not going to crochet in them so I'm just going to chain one and turn my work from now on I am only go I'm um, always going to be crocheting six single crochet up until I reach the length that I desire so starting from the first single crochet one two three, four, five, six, chain one and turn your work. So because I've already done this one I know that I'm going to need five more rows of uh, six single crochet. So let's go ahead and crochet five more rows and when I finish I'm going to turn the video back on and see how we're going to continue. Okay, so I've completed the extra rows, so now I have a total of 11 rows, 4 rows with 9 single crochet and 7 rows of 6 single crochet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my stocking sideways and I'm going to be putting my hook in every first single crochet of every row and I'm going to be crocheting a slip stitch. So once I reach at this point where I make my last slip stitch over here, I am not going to make a slip stitch for the corner. From this slip stitch, which is the first row of sing single crochet that we made, from here I'm going to jump into the first out of the three single crochet for the toe part over here. So from here we're going to jump in the first out of the three single crochet over here to continue our slip stitches. Okay, so let's go ahead, put your hook in the first stitch right over here and work a slip stitch. 
next one slip stitch 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 so we're skipping over now to the first out of the three single crochet for the toe part so slip stitch the first one slip stitch the second one and slip stitch the third one now turn sideways and work a slip stitch to this stitch that appears to be the first one for the row and work a slip stitch next one slip stitch next one slip stitch next one slip stitch and our last stitch over here slip stitch which is the first out of the nine single crochet that we worked in the first in the first row so now we're going to be working on the bottom side of the chains that we did in the beginning so we've already worked the first stitch so keep working slip stitches two three four okay, let me fix this because okay so this is the corner one and let's keep making slip stitches two three four five six seven eight and nine so now turn your work and keep working slip stitches uh, going upwards and we always want to be grabbing the first single crochet of every row so next row slip stitch next one slip stitch next one slip stitch next one slip stitch next one slip stitch okay so keep working slip stitches in the first single crochet of every row and now work your last slip stitch in the last single crochet up here chain one cut the yarn pull the loop and tighten up so this is how our mini stocking looks like so far okay so what we're going to do now is I am going to attach this furry yarn over here you can also use plain white yarn but it gives us a nice um, it gives it a nice look when we're using this one this furry yarn okay so I am going to put my hook in the first single crochet which is the one that I worked my last slip stitch so put your hook in there grab the yarn pull it through the stitch chain one and work a single crochet in the same stitch Okay, so one and keep working single crochet in every stitch one two three four five and our last stitch six chain one and turn your work so now because the yarn is furry it's kind of difficult to see where the stitches are but if you feel with your fingers you can feel the hole where each stitch is so you can feel where you're going to be putting your hook in so chain one turn the work and start working a single crochet in every stitch one two three four five and our last stitch
six. Chain one, cut the yarn, pull the loop, and tighten up. Okay, so this is how our stocking looks like so far. So let's go ahead and weave in all of our ends. And when I do that, I'm going to turn the video back on and see how we're going to create the hanger. Okay, so our mini stocking is ready so far. And we want to have our stocking now from its right side. And the right side is the side where we started working the slip stitches. We do not want to have it on the opposite side. Well, it doesn't look bad, but I like to see the stitches here from the slip stitches. Okay, so I'm going to grab some yarn and I'm going to attach it on the stitch where I attached the white furry yarn. And I'm going to work 18 chains. You can work as many chains as you'd like up until you have um, the total length that you desire for your stocking. Okay, so one, two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen chains. Put your hook in the same exact stitch where we started and work a slip stitch. Chain one, cut the yarn, pull the loop, and tighten up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to weave in those two ends as well. So I'm sewing in the white part so not any white shows on the red part of my stocking. Okay, cut the yarn. And our mini stocking ornament is ready. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you like the video, please press like and leave a comment. You can also follow Kiki Crochet on Facebook, you're going to find the link under the video. Thanks again, bye bye!